So we're uh, gearing up for a rivalry in Vancouver and Poland, but not only is it a rivalry in Vancouver and Poland, it's a bit of a Scottish rivalry here. You've got uh, Chris Boyd and Stephen Smith on uh, the other side there. Kenny, um, any uh, memories of uh, playing with or uh, against these players? Yeah, i played with both of them at Rangers. I've played with Chris in the national team as well. I've had some, some great memories playing with both of them, particularly in the old firm games. I mean, Stephen was... Uh, Never played as much as he would have liked, I would imagine, at Rangers, but he always he always got thrown at the old fun games into the mix. So we had some great times uh, both at Parkhead and at Ibrox against against the rival Celtic. Um, I was fortunate enough to, to play with Kenny for a few years when he was at Rangers, so I know he's a top player. Um, his movement's great, but I think the biggest thing about Kenny is he, he likes to moan a little bit. So I'd imagine a, a referee will be getting a bit of stick or two. He came through the ranks at Rangers as a kid. I, mean, I remember when I went there the first time, Stephen was just coming through, so he must have had a good 10 years at Rangers so he's got, I'm sure he's got a lot of fond memories as well. He's a top player, he's, he's had, um, scored a lot of goals in his career, he's played a lot of international football and he's a clever player um, and as I say he's, he's um, when I played with him he was great to play with because you always knew that he was wanting the ball, he was he was always available for a pass so as I say it's going to be tough for the, the defenders to keep him out. Yeah it'll be good to, to see them and uh, hopefully we can get a good result in the day. Now, you might not bump into each other off the field, but if you was playing centre-back uh, against uh, Chris Boyd, uh, how would you play him? I'd just come through the back of him. No, I'm only joking. No, he's... <laughs> I was just trying to uh, make sure we won the game. He didn't score a goal because he's he's renowned for scoring goals, as everybody knows. So, no, I just obviously would try and keep him quiet and hopefully our back four will keep him quiet on the day. Barry Robson, I think, would be the, the, the biggest memory because we played um, an old firm game at Celtic Park and... Uh, Celtic had to win that night to go top of the league and I think in the first minute of the game he forearm smashed one of, <laughs> one of our players and, and to be fair it worked because that set the tone for Celtic for the rest of the game and um, they were very physical and, and that's, that's what you get from him. Not also that but he's also very good on the ball as well so he's another player that we'll need to watch. Let's make sure they don't play well on the day boys. Um, no, all we're looking for is to try and win the game but it'll be good to see us and uh, hopefully it'll be a great game. And are there any old kind of scores to settle with the two? Um, if it was me four arm smashed then, then probably but <laughs> fortunate enough for me it, it wasn't me so um, as I say he's been he's been a, a, a very good player in his career as well and as I say he's someone that likes to go on the ball make passes he's also good very good at set plays as well so he's one we'll need to watch too.